Kiva, 26 years of age, won 17 of 23, loves a tear-up. Up against uh, Riaz Dergahead, a uh, pretty decent boxer, Mauritius, based in Bristol, has joined it at the start. Unquestionably, one of the most watchable, uh, exciting little domestic fighters around here. Jamie McKeever in his uh, third bout back after injuries kept him out for uh, a year and a half. He's up against the Bristol-based Mauritian Riaz Durgahead, who's won half of his contest. He'll arrive confident and uh, it could be good. They normally are with McKeever. Yes, he always comes to fight all action type boxer, and I think we'll get that the same here. Durga had not really much of a puncher, so you'll expect McKeever just to walk through him and really pile the, the pressure on. Durga head is coming off a victory over Di Davis at the back end of 2005. McKeever's won his last couple, but he, he struggled to be honest against Darius Snarsky early. <laughs> and uh, can take time to settle, but good body shots here in the first round. Well, McKeever trying to get the, the left jab going, but just getting caught with the, the odd right hand from Durgahead. He's a right, and Durgahead trying to get his jab working. McKeever, an honest pro. He'll admit he can be outboxed, but you really can't outdo him in the heart and guts department. He's been in some absolute cracking undercard fights. McKeever, nice right hand, and just trying to get through the left hook to the body, using that time and time again. It's a fair old pace in there already. Well, this looks a, a good match. You're both willing to to have a go standing toe to toe when they have to. He's got the uh, centre of the ring now, McKeever. And he pump out the jab. And then hurt, dug ahead to the body. That was good variety from McKeever. Mixing it up quite well, using the, the jab to good effect and then going with the, the nice punches to the body. Toe to toe here in the first session. No feeling out needed between McKeever and Durgahead. You can just get in the, the range right with that jab. Sometimes leaving himself open and Durgahead gets through with his own counters. It's the sheer velocity of McKeever. He throws so many punches full of spirit. And it's a brighter beginning than last time out for the Birkenhead man. Go home. Again, it's the Latouk that's getting through from Akiva, and it was his round. Here's the second of six, featuring the former British featherweight champion, Jamie McKeever. It's uh, at nine stone four in the super featherweight division, but McKeever will be hoping to uh, become a part of the domestic picture at nine stone again. Up against Riaz Durgahead, two years older than McKeever at 28. Nice combination there from Durgahead, just looking for the counters now, just changed tactics a little bit. He's won five of his ten, Durgahead, trying to open up on McKeever. Is that a wise idea, though? Durga ahead, very much more the, the boxer than a power puncher. He's got to rely on that, and I think you understand the best chance here. He's got to just use a little bit more movement. Yeah, the victory over Buster Dennis looks pretty good on paper. Dennis gives no one an easy night. But, uh, McKeever a step up for Durga ahead as he is in his 24th fight. Well, this is a little better from Durga ahead. Just moving around the ring and getting through with counters, but McKeever really steadied him up with that good body shot. Working Durga Head's ribs side to side. Relentless, he calls himself Jamie McKeever. 
And a very apt nickname that is too. Well, it's a good clash of styles with these two. The nice boxing from Durga Head and uh, the constant aggression from McKeever. The uppercut from Durga Head. Tried his own body shots. With a one knockout on the record, though, may he just lack the power to keep McKeever off him. He's got to hurt him, hasn't he? Somehow. Yes, he does, but as record shows, he doesn't really have the, the power to do that. But some nice boxing at times from Dirkhead, just turning McKeever on the ropes. More powerful shots coming from McKeever, but Dirkhead. Giving as good as he can. Really decent effort. He's had some good little phases in this round, Durga Head, where he's boxed quite well. There's the body shot, doubling up with the right hand from McKeever. Durga Head managing to put McKeever on the back foot. A couple of nice shots there, but it was a, a very good left hook from McKeever at the end. Head static of McKeever, but he's continuing to get the meaty blows home. More top action, as expected. Here's the third round. Jamie McKeever in the his usual black and white shorts with the black boots and the uh, purple of Riaz Durgahead, who uh, boxed in the Sydney Olympics for Mauritius, but is uh, now very much based in Britain, trying to ply his trade. And he's doing all right here. Yes, I think that the key for Durgahead is that little bit of movement and use the, the combinations, and that's what he's trying to do. And he's doing well here. Makiva just been forced back and having to take a couple of big shots. Look at that right hand from Durga Head. Finding Makiva. Quite easy to hit, but goes down with a short shot. Right hand. There's the power of Jamie Makiva. And just when he was getting into it, Riaz Durga Head has to go down in the third round. Short shot. Paid the penalty there for a little bit of overconfidence, just trying to really fight McKeever's fight and he just walked onto that right hand needs to get more movement left hook to the body was good from McKeever upping the pace Durga head trying to come back but is it that problem with the lack of power well he's been put on the floor and he's still electing to stand toe to toe with McKeever I think that's a mistake. Just been told by uh, Andy Wright, the referee, McKeever to keep them up. But obviously, that's the target. Downstairs. Slow Durga head down. He just puts everything into this, doesn't he, McKeever? Every time. Well, Durga head making it a little easier for him by standing right where McKeever wants him. Seems to feel he looks as if Durgahead feels he can actually hurt McKeever the way he's fighting. And we saw in the second round he can box a bit, and maybe that's the way to go about beating Jamie McKeever. Well, that tactic works so well the movement, the combinations. But now he's elect to have a fight, and he's just fighting Jamie McKeever's fight. Not many get the better of McKeever in the trench warfare. He has lost five times, but he usually gets up, comes back for more. Still, Durga Head tries to push him onto the back foot. He's having his own success occasionally, Durga Head. But those body shots again, three times with the left hook. Yes, that's really good work from McKeeva. That's got to be weakening Durga Head. I think that's maybe why he's not moving as much a more of a tired feel as he went back to the corner Durga head McKeever seems fresher okay. Listen. <laughs> just, 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 
<laughs> Just as Durga Hessen was enjoying success, this is what happens. Yes, he just getting a little overconfident, went in very close to McKeever and just walked onto that right hand. It was a good shot. It obviously got more power because Dergerhead was coming forward. And he had to touch down, and that was a good round for McKeever. 10-8 round for him. And the key, really, in McKeever's arsenal has been that. Body shots. Terrific statistic after three rounds. A little bit of bruising to the, the left eye. Punch and move. Why did you can, all right? OK. And you've got to work harder, right? Second half of this good little contest. Jamie McKeever and Rears Dergerhead. Chris Sanagar in Dergerhead's corner saying, you've got to work harder. How can they? Well, it is a good pairing, nice matchup here with good styles. And Dergerhead just changing his style, electing the fight, and I'd like to see him just get back to the boxing. It's usually the smooth fighters that have given McKeever problems. He lost his British title to Roy Rutherford and lost again to Dazzo Williams. And Dergerhead again coming on strong in patches. Dergerhead has certainly got a, a little bit of ability. But it's a good work with the, the body shots from McKeever. Just walking down Dergerhead, pushing him back, using physical strength and drive, really, McKeever. Just pushing out a jab, and then now back to the, the counter punching, which served him well in the second round. He's tough though, Doug ahead, hasn't been stopped so far as a pro. It's the round that McKeever finally caught up with Jim Betts a couple of fights ago in a real up and down war and you just sense that he's starting to get on top of Dergerhead a bit more now. Yes, not as much coming back from Dergerhead and the power shot still going in from McKeever. Got a, a look of confidence now. Yep, the experience of McKeever as the fight goes on. Only scheduled for six. But uh, more belief now in the Evertonian fan from Merseyside. Well, relentless on his shorts, his nickname, McKeever, and he really is with those body shots. They've got to be having an effect. Yeah, it's really good to have him back. We saw him uh, when he was out of the ring and he was desperately trying surgeon rebuild his hand as a cut though he's got a cut now and that has plagued him during his career as well he just dabs at that by the right eye Jamie McKeever well that may just spur Durga head on a little bit starting to pick his work rate up head clash causing the gash shakes his head there Jamie McKeever listen mate right don't take shots. No, we're not. We have to learn and process, so now is the time to change it, OK? Yeah. Just give me time to work on it, though. Just hang on a minute. Just give me time to work on it. Punch and move. Don't get into it, Ed. You was picking them off, absolutely. There's the, the clash. Just fell in together. Just goes back against the, the ropes, dug ahead, and then as he comes forward, his forehead catches with the eye of... McKeever, and that's unfortunate for McKeever, who's doing so well. Lots of good punches, mixing it up very well, and keeps throwing in that good left hook to the body. Speed your shot off, fast. Take them, take them with the top, no. Round five. 
six minutes left of this uh, very watchable super featherweight fight. Jamie McKeever on top. He's had Riaz Durgahead on the floor, but a cut has been opened by the right eye. What next here? Body shot there from Durgahead as Chris Sanagar beckons him in. Well, he certainly shows he's got a, a little bit of talent, Durgahead. I think that the shame is, you know, he doesn't really carry much power. He's been matched fairly hard since uh, his professional debut a couple of years ago, Riaz Durgahead. But he is giving Jamie McKeever some fight, and now it's his turn for success. Look at that right hand. Gumshield was loose of McKeever. Here we go again. Well, it's switching around one way and then the other. And at times he looks really good. Durgahead just gets a bounce in the, in the legs and starts throwing his shots nice and loosely. And looks like a different fighter. Battles McKeever's hand with Tony Mulholland and Lee Armstrong. James Rooney, to mention a few. He has been a, a great servant to the game. When will it all catch up with him? Well, McKeever needs to get back on the jab. He's got that cut to contend with, but needs to keep picking up the points. Right hands from Durgahead. Move your head, says Mickey Allen in the corner. That's been a problem with McKeever, hasn't it? Yes, he's very straight up in, in his style and occasionally the defense is uh, a bit open good comeback this from Riaz Durgahead really wants this it will be a, an excellent notch if he can take the scalp of McKeever may still have a fair bit to do though landing well with the, the right hand Durgahead it's McKeever who not, is not doing that much in this round. McKeever, he's forgot about his jab, which you think at this stage in the fight he'd be using a lot more. It went out so hectic at the beginning, McKeever. Maybe thought after his slow start against Snarsky last time. He needed two and a six-rounder, but it is Riaz Durgahead that is uh, coming on strong in the fifth. The left hook was uh, a decent one from McKeever. Maybe too little, too late, though. That's Durgahead. Final round. Riaz Durgahead needs a big, big finish, may even need a knockdown. I don't know whether he's got the power to do that. McKeever surely in front because of the big third round. But uh, it could all still be out there. Well, it could be. Chris Sanagar told him in the corner that he needs a stoppage, and I, I think that could be right. Yep, no signs of that in his record so far. On his uh, debut, he stopped Jason Thomas, but all points win or lose since then dug ahead the keeper again looking for the body well this is where McKeever should really be using a lot more jabs he's neglected that and He's looked a little bit tired in the, the last couple of rounds, McKeever. Again, they swing freely. They put an entertaining super featherweight battle on here, these two, well matched. It's been so clean, too, hasn't it? Referees hardly had to get involved. No, they've worked very, very well. It's been a, a good fight, entertaining. McKeever just looks to be doing a little bit more, but every now and again, Durgahead gets him with a good shot. A 
think even if he loses this rear Sturger head, he can be very proud of what he's done tonight to a former British champion who's trying to come on again and get back into title contention. They've kept up the pace, they've entertained, but the uh, strength of Jamie McKeever coming through in this final session. Yes, I just think it's been that extra work rate from McKeever. He's shown class at times, Durgerhead got through some nice punches, but just doesn't look to have done quite enough. The fire very much still in the McKeever belly. Look at this from Durgerhead. Spirited, gutsy effort. McKeever's smiling, I think he knows that he's going to get this. But a good fight, Glenn. Yes, a good finish, still both standing toward a tour, but not a, a great deal of holding. But it is win number 18 for Jamie McKeever. I think he felt that coming home in the last 20, 30 seconds or so. And it's uh, three out of three on the comeback trail. But Riaz Dergahead, he did do well. Yes, it was never easy for McKeever. He really had to work hard for that. Look at that punches thrown almost 500 from McKeever, 900 in total, landing only nine more. The success on the computer with Dergahead. I mean, he can go back to Chris Sanagar's gym and be very proud. Yes, it's certainly something to work with with Dergahead, but just lacks that bit of power. The keeper wins, and he goes on. Ladies and gentlemen, after six rounds of boxing, referee Andy Wright has scored this contest. For Durgerhead, 55 points. For Makiva, 58 points. Your winner from Birkenhead, Jamie Makiva. And please show your appreciation for Riaz Durgerhead. No uh, disrespect to the guy who came in tonight because he cut off a good challenge, but I've had a lot of time out the ring, but, you know, that's my third fight back, so I'm still learning after being out for near enough two years, which is a long time. So uh, we've got to work on a lot of things, but I've got the time, I'm still only 26, so, you know, time's on my side still. What was the key tonight against Durgate? Was it the body shots? Yeah, he was over. He was wide. We were working on the body shots in the gym because we got a tape of him only a few days ago. But uh, we seen he was wide open, so we were trying the right hook to the body, as you see, and they were all coming off. Yeah. How far off your best do you feel now? Truthfully, I'm I'm only 50% there. Not even that. I've, uh, I'm very, very rusty still and uh, very stiff. Uh, but the only thing I can do is have a lot more, you know, fight regular, which hopefully I will be. And. Um, I will get back to the form I showed when I was uh, featherweight champion, definitely. You think you can get back in the title mix, and will it be at featherweight or super featherweight? No, it will be at featherweight, but um, I mean, I weighed the nine stone five and a bit this one, but I had a bit of a problem with my knee, and I was out the gym for near enough ten days, so I couldn't train, do anything with it. So, you know, it was a bit, I was a bit heavier, that's why, and I told John that, so featherweight, we will do it, no problem.